Good evening. You guys know that I'm more of a Target person. I don't ever go to Walmart, but there is a Walmart that is basically right behind Walt Disney World. So I figured a lot of people are probably going to this Walmart. So we're gonna go to this Walmart tonight. Never been to this Walmart. I can tell you guys by the parking lot and how to find this place. It's gonna be difficult. Cause I don't know, my GPS was like, it's over there somewhere. And uh, there was a sign thankfully on the side of the road that was like, turn down this road and that's where the Walmart is. And I turned down the road and the GPS is like, where are you going? You're lost. But I wasn't, I was headed towards the Walmart and then just getting in here, the people were driving out all over the place and nobody really knew where they were going. Willy nilly is the way that I would best describe it. Let's go inside and see how willy nilly it is in there too. Ah, Walmart. This is a super Walmart too. So this is like groceries and everything else that you can possibly imagine. Right off the bat, deals. 50 cent cans of soda. It's like going to the store on Black Friday. There's just people everywhere. Also, a Minnie Mouse bag, I guess. Oh, and Mickey Mouse ears. I like the price on this. Why is it just yellow? This one says 596. What happened? How come we can't tell any prices anywhere? Oh, here, yeah, it's still 596. Just this one tells you what price it is. These, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Money services, eh? That doesn't mean like you can exchange money, you can send money different places. There's an airbrush store in here where you can get airbrush shirts and then a place called Wayback Burgers, which I have no idea what that means. I've never heard of a Wayback Burger before, but I wonder if it's any good. There definitely is a lot of Disney stuff here at this particular store. Lots and lots. And when I say lots, I mean a lot. Definitely a lot. I kind of feel bad. Those of you guys that come to Florida and you come to this Walmart, is this what you think all of our Walmarts look like? This definitely isn't what all of them look like. Most of them are big, but like, I don't know. I, this gray floor is very strange to me. Most of the time it's not just a plain old gray concrete floor. I, I just feel like we're in a giant warehouse. This doesn't feel like a normal Walmart. Oh, there's a vision center here too. If you need to get glasses, you can come here. It's just bizarre the stuff that they have right in the front here. Like this is, I guess a travel section. We oh, yeah, have some like luggage scales and different converters. I mean, it's brilliant. This is what should be at a Walmart near Walt Disney World, but I've just never, never been to this Walmart. Oh yeah, you can just buy luggage here. And then all your travel accessories. Really is so interesting to me the way that this store is set up because it makes total sense. Like pool stuff for when you come down you rent like a, a vacation home down here in Florida and you don't have any pool floats. So you go to Walmart, you get pool floats, an entire aisle of pool floats right next to the suitcase aisle. Oh my goodness, pinatas. You can get a minion pinata and then fill it with party favors here. What? All right, well, oh no, that's the garden center back there. Right next to the crafts and sewing section. Ooh, I like this. It's calm back here. Nobody seems to be going into the gardening section. This really is so interesting because like if you're coming here on vacation, would you need to come into the gardening section and buy a 14 foot trampoline? No. So it really does make sense that there's nobody in this section. Is there like a specific person that this happy Valentine's Day llama is like marketed towards? I know for a fact that this dinosaur wearing sunglasses is marketed towards me because this is awesome. What is this? Press. Okay. Why? Why does this hairy orange thing have a taco for me? Is it explained inside? It, uh, it was not explained inside. Actually, it got a little bit more confusing. Just to give you an idea of how like willy nilly this store is laid out, we're in the clock section. Just on the other side is the suitcase section. Oh, and this is the candle warmer section too. And mirrors. Oh my goodness. We have this rug. I think we have this rug at our house. Somebody sent it to us. There's a second, a second suitcase aisle. There's so many suitcase aisles. Just suitcases everywhere. There's a whole nother suitcase aisle. And one aisle over from the suitcase aisle, the folding chair aisle. There's just so many interesting things in a Walmart. Like oars, just in case you need them. I don't think they sell kayaks here, but they do sell the oars. This is a good thing to know. There is a car care center where you can get new tires and new batteries and stuff like that. And anything you need for your car, oil, grease, air filters. I feel like this is an interesting experience. I do like Target better because I feel like you can just go to Target, like 
We're going to Target. Let's go see what we can find. But if you're coming here to Walmart, you need to be on a mission. You need to have a list. You need to know exactly where you're going. And then you need to get in and get out. Because it's like willy-nilly in here. It really it doesn't feel as inviting as a Target. Well, they have like these little teeny tiny arcades. These look fun. I feel like the pen aisle is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like nobody comes in here not knowing what pen they need to get. You know exactly what pen you want and you're on a mission trying to find it. Side note, this was the most popular aisle in the entire store. I've been standing here like waiting for people to stop shopping for pens so that I could show you guys the pen aisle. But people just keep coming in and they're like, ah, I need to get this pen. And they just like run straight to the pens that they're trying to get and they grab them. I just, I wouldn't know where to start with this pen aisle. Ooh, they do have a whole bin of $5 movies like the Don Knotts classic, The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Well, well, I feel like you could find something kind of, hey, wait, is this already in the $5 bin? This was just out in the theater, wasn't it? Wow, oh, no, 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 it wasn't. There you go, $19.99, 17 something. It's some, some price, but it doesn't go in the $5 bin. Why doesn't it go in here? Oh, heck yeah, they light up. How do they light up? I need to make them light up. The toes light up? Oh, jeez. I need to see these things lighting up. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Why are they only in kid sizes, though? It really does just feel like Black Friday every day in here because they just got these pallets of stuff in the middle of all the aisles. I think it's an interesting thing to note that there are a lot of, like, smaller size things. So this is like a giant shelving unit of little tiny Dawn. Even though right next to it they have the full-size ones, but you wouldn't want to buy a full-size one if you're not staying here for very long. Side note, they do have an entire section of Krispy Kreme donuts here, which look amazing. I'm telling you guys, willy-nilly. Willy-nilly indeed. Just like, pallets full of food. Oh no, all the Valentine's Day stuff is out now. Oh dear, it was just Christmas. Holy cow, this is a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. What? It's still going. We made it to the 50% off Christmas section with the toolkits that fell apart and candy canes. There are so many candy canes left over. Holy macaroni. I 100% take back what I said about Black Friday. This feels like a store right before a hurricane. That's what this feels like. Just no water left. I've never seen so many Pringles in all my life. I found like a, a box cutter from one of the employees just kind of sitting on a shelf. So I gave it back to a different employee. This is totally exactly how I thought the beer aisle would look. So much Bud Light. There is a liquor store. I think you have to go outside of the liquor store to get into it though, or outside of Walmart to get into the liquor store though. Oh, they sell foodles here. Paw Patrol foodles. This bakery section actually looks really good. That cake looks amazing. I also like that you can get like a single serving piece of cake. Now this is my first time being in the store, but anybody that's been here before, is this just like Wednesday nights in the Walmart or is this how it always is? I kind of want to do this for Valentine's Day. Like you make your own Valentine's Day message cookies. Started getting up towards the checkouts. Look at all the people that are trying to buy stuff here. At, uh, I almost called this Target at Walmart. Monday plan, drink all the coffee. These are fun. I like this. Right or wrong, I'm still right. Yes, we're in the Florida section. I like this mug. This is very bright and fun. $2.97 and it's a deal. We're just chilling in Cedar, oh no, Florida. Oh yes. Southern Swamp Swim Team. Fast enough is good enough. Some of these shirts make zero sense. Oh, oh I kind of like this a lot. I don't know that I like the little free diver guy, but I like the explore Florida thing without the free diver guy. Well, this one is frightening. Also, where'd this giant basketball come from? Ooh, I'm back towards like all the Disney stuff. They have an entire section of just Disney pens and pencils and stuff like that. And gigantic Disney pencils. Look at these things. And giant Disney pens too. I kind of like this goofy shirt. They also sell goofy underwear. Lots of goofy underwear. I like this Mickey Mouse shirt too. These are solid Disney shirts. Whoa, look at this thing. Glows in the dark. I do like coming to places like this because you find Disney shirts that you didn't know existed. Does it count as a high five if he only has four fingers? And isn't it H-I-G-H five? Is that allowed? Whoa, check this out. It says it's sleepwear, but I feel like I would wear this shirt on a normal basis. 
pretty awesome. Oh heck yeah, an entire section of Disney keychains and magnets. Heck yeah, it's castle time. This shirt's cool. It looks just like the airbrush style that they do in the airbrush store right over there. It looks like you can buy theme park tickets here too. Uh, okay, side note, I know we're kind of jumping all over the place, but I'm really not. The like Disney shirts are right there. But has anybody used one of these smokeless indoor grills? I've been interested in them. I have a griddle like this that doesn't work exactly the best, like because it only heats around the center here. So if you're cooking pancakes, you'll have like one burnt spot in the center, but the rest is perfect. Does that same thing happen with these type of grills? Can make 15 pancakes at once. Well, I mean, that all depends on how big your pancakes are. You can make two really big ones at once, or like 300 little teeny tiny ones. Whoa, okay, this looks kind of awesome. You get a shark mask and then some sort of shark hand squirty thing. I kind of want this. So these type of snorkeling masks have seemed to become very much more popular recently. Does this not scare anybody else? Like, I don't know if I would like not being able to just like spit the snorkel out of my mouth. I would have to rip the entire mask off. The perfect gift for anybody. A cat face island or a pug face island. What the heck is this section? I think this is still some Christmas clearance stuff, but it gets very strange very quickly. Uh, then it just turns into toys. Is this an Iron Man bank, but like old school Iron Man? That's kind of fun. This specific thing is stinking up this entire aisle. <laughs> I feel like from a distance, this aisle seems okay. Who has a cowbell? Oh, I've been looking all over for this ornament. It's a basketball wreath. Christmas tree ornament. Rapunzel's tower vanity is on sale, right? Oh, it's on clearance for $40. What a deal. I found the cowbells. There's no ringer in it. Is it weird that I am kind of interested to learn how to knit? Who needs a crochet needle this big? Like, what do you use that for? So I feel like the real question that I have is, how often do they restock this sort of stuff? Like, probably not very often, right? Compared to the other stuff that we were looking at. I feel like this is kind of a good idea, right? You come here, you get something along this, like, picture frame and then you paint it with your family on vacation, and that's your keepsake. I feel like that would be a fun thing to do because it does rain pretty often here in the summertime. So this is like something that can be done. You come out to the Walmart, get some craft stuff, maybe a wood burning tool, and then like make yourself a nice little heart picture frame. A whole section of boogie boards, including this one that says, surrender the booty. So not far from the boogie boards, we find ourselves in the cake decorating aisle. And this was something that I thought was super funny. So they have this fondant here. And on the back, it tells you how to make the design on the front. So you got this, the white one, the red one, the blue one, this brown one here. And then I was like, oh wait, are they gonna teach me how to make like lots of different faces to go on the outside? No, they're gonna teach me how to make something else. Something else altogether. Okay, so we're back where we found the pinatas. There's a lot of pinatas here available. <gasps> Tim Tracker? You guys remember when we saw this before? You can make Play-Doh teeth for this guy's face. I'm doing it. I'm buying some yellies, aren't I? Which one do I want? Do I want yellow or purple or red or pink? Oh, they have names. Sammy, Peaks, Harry Scoots. All right, we're gonna get Harry Scoots. Toofy Spooter sounds like a fun one too. How much are these things? Maybe I'll get two of them. Man, I'm kind of sad that Bo Dangles isn't available, but we are gonna get Harry Scoots. Harry Scoots. You better be worth the crowd for checkout. I'm in the self checkout line and this is the place that everybody just gives up and puts all their stuff and runs away after they realize that it's taking a little bit of time and even in the self checkout line. All right, Harry Scoots, here's your big moment. Yeah, oh no, he's coming after me. Oh no, you have no natural enemies. You can run, be free. Go into the world, Harry Scoots. Run away. Ah! Oh, he didn't like that. But it, oh, oh my. I don't think that this, ah! Oh gosh, okay. I don't know if the, oh, he's running away. Bye. Have, be free. Live a, live a wonderful long Harry Scootin' life. I don't know if he's doing so good in the, oh, there he goes. He's running away. He doesn't do so good on the asphalt. Brought him over to the sidewalk. Maybe he'll do better on the sidewalk. What do you think, Harry Scoots? 
I don't think you do good. I'm sure you probably do great on tile, but I don't know how good you do just on like in the outdoors. You weren't made for this sort of an environment, were you, Harry Scoots? You are not. I think this balloon slowly bouncing through the parking lot pretty much signifies everything that is the Walmart on 192. So there you have it. That was our trip out to what I'm gonna call the Wild West of Orlando, the Walmart on 192. It was kind of interesting. I mean, it was really interesting. I don't think I would come here on a regular basis. It's just too hectic and people everywhere and people grabbing at things and stuff. It doesn't make any sense as to where it's at. I think I'm gonna stick to Target. It was a fun trip though. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.